Hello everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, where Team Aqua is right up here. Maybe if I sneak closer, nobody will know. <coughs> <coughs> hey, you jerks, let Professor Cosmo go. Hmm? What's this? Who is this spoiled brat? Alyssa, you finally made it, huh? You've got to protect the professor from these lunatics or else. There's two of them and two of us, huh? Sorry to ask Alyssa, but bet alongside me. Sure. Thanks, pal. Uh, so even I, Team Aqua Admin Shelly, have been made a fool. Fine. Brats who don't know how to watch their mouths must be punished. I won't forgive you if you cower in fear either. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Team Aqua. Admin Shelly and Aqua Grunt. All right. Uh, what will Maka do? Maka is going to go back into the Pokeball because holy crap, I didn't, I forgot to heal. Um, Primer and Mightyena, huh? I would say use. Sethlene here. See how that goes. Snarl! Ow. I forgot. Water Pulse! I like how the animation is very clearly an AoE. And yet, it's not actually an AoE. Also, I was not affected, so I appear to have made a good choice with that. It's Air Cutter, the Mightyena. Oh, Air Cutter hits both. Nice! Crit on both, too. Goodbye, Grimer. Let's play the Maka, gain experience. Mighty Anna, you swagger! It's a pointless move! And dumb, too! Also, it missed. I'm sorry, the move increases your opponent's attack by two levels. But Serene, it also confuses them, which means that they might take extra damage. Just use Confuse Ray. Bonnie wants to learn the move Slam. Slam! Uh, I don't seem like... That doesn't seem like there's an issue with that, so... Man, I really wish I could sit down and play freaking Donkey Kong 64 again. I hate that game. Just to be clear, I like, I hate that game. <laughs> like, it is an absolute trash game. Like, garbage material game. I love it. <laughs> I hate that game so much, but I love it. Oh, are you telling me you're that strong and still just a kid? That was not the voice I did for Shelly. Huh? Oh, did I go too easy on you? All right, we beat him. If the tremendous energy of Mount Chimney and the Meteorite are combined, we of Team Aqua can take a giant step toward the world that we dream of. We won't let ignorant little brats get in our way. Humph. Do these mere, ch do these mere children give you so much trouble? You, an admin of Team Aqua. Who's that? 
Oh, it, that Team Magma. Phew. Even Team Magma showed their faces, huh? There's nothing to be done about it. Hey, grab that meteorite. Aye, aye. Huh? What, 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 what? Come on, hand over the meteorite. Ah! Professor! Ha <laughs> ha Later days, brats and Team Magma. Alright, time to rush to Mount Chimney. <laughs> Max, we must give chase to Team Aqua, or else. Hmm. My name is Maxi. I lead an organization known as Team Magma. We work for the future happiness of all mankind. From what I have seen here, it appears that you are working against our rivals and Team Aqua. Fine. Amuse yourself with those Team Aqua fools. But be careful you do not impede our goals. Be a child or grown or poses in the slightest, and I, the great Maxi, will show no mercy. Oh man, what's with those lunatics? Uh, forget those guys. Professor! Hey, Professor Cosmo, hang in there, okay? But they... I only... I think he's still pretty out of it. Elisa, never mind what's happened. Gotta get to the professor back to his lab in Falibor. Okay, you professor, easy now. So I know that in Emerald slash Ruby, that's Team Magma because this part makes no sense for Team Aqua. The, the whole meteorite thing makes no sense with Team Aqua. Because, like, their goal is to expand the water by erupting the volcano. It, it works for Team Magma, but it's not for Team Aqua. Ah, uh, Professor. Thank the stars above. Professor, you're back. Uh, thanks to these children, I have somehow returned. Those crazy jerks. What do you think they wanted with the Professor's meteorite, anyway? I gotta say, they sure don't look like the good guys, but... I guess we both better be more careful from here on out. Not that I'm really worried about you, Yola, so you and your team will be fine for sure. But I need to thank you as well. You truly saved me from disaster. Hope we'll take this TM as some small form of repayment. Got Smackdown! I don't know what that is. Thank you, Professor. Now that that's over with, what are you planning to do next, Yolissa? I'm thinking of going for the next gym badge. The one from Marvel City. Wanna we'll make a trip together, Alyssa? To Marvel, that is. Cool, let's go then. Yeah. Alright, made it to Marvel City. Up up ahead here is Mount Chimney, huh? That's the place those nut jobs that Meteor Falls were talking about going to. Be careful, Alyssa, it might get dangerous around here. So, in the original game, once you are done here at Meteor Falls, you go down Route 115 here, and that takes you to Rustboro, and I guess they just expect that you're going to go over to Mauville and then back up, and then... I don't know, Mount Chimney after to get to Lava Ridge or something? Maybe? That's my guess. Um, but, like, when I played this, when I played the original game, like, you know, you got here to Meteor Falls, you come down here to Rustboro, and it's like, well, I know the... I know there's a gym in Pedalburg. Then you go down to Pedalburg, and it's like, nope, you still can't challenge the gym in Pedalburg. And then it's like, so where the frick do I go next, you know? And I have never gotten past this, like, section of the game. 
and I mean it looks like they kind of fixed that not really by like bringing you back to Marvel City except that they tell you that the next badge is in Marvel City but you've already done that so therefore they still haven't really fixed the issue and like this is a legitimate game ender right because like if you don't know where to go like you're screwed so and like I guess you know you come back to Marvel and he's like hey you know Mount yeah we, you you know, think about Mount Chimney but like how do you get to Mount Chimney I don't know <coughs> Like, this is the, the, this was a legitimate, like, game ender for me. I never got past this in the original because there was just no indication of where to go next, you know? And I know that somebody's immediately going to be like, well, they tell you, you know, go to Mount Chimney, but I don't know how to get to Mount Chimney. <laughs> I don't even know... Don't even know how to get oh right through here. I forgot how to like progress up further. Like I guess you're supposed to go this way to Route 112. Cause like I remember coming up here and there was like Team Aqua members up here, right? They like blocked your way, and now I guess there's not. <clears throat> like this was not thought out well at all, and they did really nothing to fix it. I mean, at least they took you to Marvel, which does help a little. This is the exit. The entrance is over there. The cable car is ready to depart. Would you like to board it? Like, it, I don't, I, I don't get it. It's so confusing. And it makes no sense. And like, I stopped playing, like, every time I have played this game, I stopped playing before this moment. Because at this point, I got lost. And luckily in this version, I know something. Receptionists at the base are twins. Receptionists at the peak are also twins. You know, at least in this version, it's like, oh, you know, the, they do give you, like, an indication there to, like, go to Mount Chimney. Um, but, like, why do you have to come to Mount Chimney to get down to this freaking town? Like, why is it not just a route? to Lava Ridge, you know, and that they have not changed, there still is no route, so, just like Team Aqua and Team Magma are fighting, ah, <sighs> impudent fools, you Team Aqua curse, they have to impede the great Maxi, I guess I'm going the right way, What well, if I went down this way where those others were? I guess they were like in a battle, right? So, yeah. Like, I can't go that way because they're in the middle of a fight, right? Like, if I go this way, I jump in the middle of the fight and then it's like, ah! I... And you can't go this way for the same reason. I mean, at least there's some level of, like, clear direction here. Because they, like, point you in this direction. Also, why do you just have a Poochietta? Like, sir, these impertinent little imbeciles. I guess I'll just keep going. Like, I, I feel no sense of, like, danger or threat. 
I don't even, like, understand what I'm doing here. Like, oh no, Team Aqua took the meteorite and brought it here. And then I guess there's these guys fighting? But, like, these guys are fighting, right? So, like, why am I even bothering with anything? <laughs> you know? The, I, I don't understand any of this. And it is my biggest critique to any of the Generation 3 games. Is this section makes so little sense on any of the, th you know, what, five versions of this game now. Like, it's a legitimate problem. This is a remake, which is supposed to fix problems. And nothing was done to fix this problem. You know? We have Team Aqua working hard for everyone's sake. Like, if there's more water around, water Pokemon will be happy. And it'll give people more fun places to swim. Okay. So what are you doing up here? Like, right? Like, I'm not the only one that's confused by this, right? Like, they're using a meteorite on a volcano to create water? That's not how volcanoes work. Like, what, what, what is the goal here? What, what's going on? You know? I understand that it makes more sense for Team Magma to be here, right? It's better in the Omega Ruby game because, team, you know, Team Magma is the one that's here doing the thing. But why not just have that be the way it is in both games? You know? Like, they had two Pokemon teams that you're supposed to be battling against in both games. But... The other team never, like, does anything because... You're playing Sapphire, or because you're playing Ruby, or... Like, I'm not the only person that has an issue with this, right? Because, like, this makes no sense at all. Also, am I the only person that has, like, an issue with the concept of them breaking not just the games in two. Like, I don't have any issue with that. That's just the way Pokemon has always been and always will be. But, like, breaking the story in two, like, this is annoying as it is with the whole, like, you know, Team Aqua and Team Magma, like, split and it doesn't make sense no matter which way. But then black and white Splits it where it's like it's the same, you know, it's Team Plasma, which so it's the one team, but their goal is completely different depending on which game you're playing. And it's not even like an interchangeable goal, like it's which is better, the truth or an ideal. That's not something you can interchange, you know. You can't have one be better than the other. You know, you, you, like, you, you can't make one into a villain, you know. Like, truth is better because it's the truth. You can't make ideals falsehoods. Like, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. Anyway, what matters is we're about to go fight Team Aqua for some reason. Also, like, does it... Like, their goal just got explained to me. Just now. Right? 
Like, that, that hasn't happened until now, right? Why do these games suck so bad? Now, what are you doing here? Did you follow us all the way here from Meteor Falls? Ha! Huh. Well, hey, good job, kid. Okay, I admit it. You are quite the trainer, and... To Archie, me, and all of Team Aqua, your existence is annoying. The world Archie dreams of would be a utopia for Pokemon. Can't let you get in the way of someone who's pushing on toward a perfect world. Prepare yourself. This will finally be the time that I leave that cute face of yours swollen and crying. Also, did I not literally just fight her? Like, literally just fight her? There's been one trainer between her and her. One trainer. There has been one trainer between her and her. Did we literally not just have this exact fight? Also, Team Aqua, right? Team Magma, right? Why do all of the evil teams use poison and dark type Pokemon? Every evil team, every game. Team Rocket used poison types. When dark types came around in Gen 2, they started using dark types and poison types. Team Aqua, the water team, is using poison and dark type. Team Magma, the fire team, is using poison and dark type. Team Galactic used poison and dark type. Team Plasma uses poison and dark type. Heck, didn't Team Flare and X and Y do the same? And then Gen 7 comes around and is like, Oh, here's Team Skull. And they use Dark Types and Poison Types. At least the real villains in Gen 7 were the Ether Foundation. And even then, that didn't make a lot of sense because it was not the Ether Foundation. It was just Lusamine. But they didn't use poison and dark types, if I remember right. Was there even an evil team in Generation 8? Even a villain in Generation 8? I don't remember there even being a villain team. <laughs> like, you had Team Yell that was like, oh, well, this is the villain team. But they weren't. It was freaking... They were fans of Marnie. They weren't even villainous. But, like, the game treated them like they were the evil team, but they weren't an evil team? Was there even a villain in that generation? I legitimately don't remember there even being a villain in that generation. I know that, like, at the very end of the game, you fought, like, Eternatus, right? And it turned out like, oh, it's been Eternatus all along, but... Like, was there even an evil team in Generation 8? I legitimately don't remember there being an evil team in Generation 8. I mean, maybe that was Team Yell, but again, they weren't the evil team. They weren't, they weren't even villainous. They weren't even introduced as being villainous. 
Like, the first interaction you have with them is, like, Marnie is right there. And they're like, we're, a, we're Marnie supporters. We're not going to let you stop Marnie. Let's battle. And then Marnie's just like, guys, you don't have to do that. Like, they weren't even treated as the villains. What was that? Why do all of the villain teams have Dark and Poison type to begin with? And second off, like, just why? Uh, you're telling me you've upped your game ever since, even more since last time? No? We met like five minutes ago, lady. There's been no time for either of us to get stronger. You're a brat with a bright future. My Pokemon and I don't have any strength left to fight. Go on, go and be destroyed by Archie. Also, I'm not the only person that's confused by, like, the fact that the evil team, like, you beat up their Pokemon, and then they're just like, oh, well. My Pokemon and I, we don't have the strength to fight, even though I didn't fight. The great swell of power that sleeps deep in the magma. And it's the key to controlling the super ancient Pokemon's power. Ah, you. Uh, no. Oh, now I know I know you. You're the little scamp that got now away in Slateport's museum. If you made it here to me, you must have slipped right past Sally, huh? <laughs> I figured you were a big deal for the first time I laid eyes on you, but, whoa. <laughs> well, since you are the real deal, I suppose I can let you in on just what's going on. See this meteorite I just got from good old Professor High and Mighty back there. With the right bit of work, it seems we could turn it into a real nice, valuable bit. Like maybe a mega stone, or even a keystone. And as long as we're here at Mount Chimney. Yup! <laughs> Look what I nearly went and did! If I give away all my secrets, all the thrill be gone from our relationship. Think I'll just leave you hanging here. Well, it's not the details that matter any old how. We've got a thing we got to do, you see. From our point of view, Scamp, you're a dirty villain who's gotten in our way one too many time. One time too many. I'm still leader of Team Aqua, so I'm afraid it's the rope's end for you and your Pokemon. Now come! <coughs> he doesn't even get a 3D... Oh, okay. I was going to say, really? He doesn't, like, the big bad guy doesn't get a 3D model? Like, that was what confused me in Gen 6. Was that, like, the Elite Four didn't get models. Diantha didn't get models. The Gym Leaders didn't get models. But your rivals, all four of them, and Team Flare, all of them got models. Like, what? Here, the freaking regular grunts and the admins don't even get models. So far, it's only been freaking, I assume, Maxi as well. Um, but Maxi and Archie here that have gotten, like, 3D models, basically. Like, what? Like, am I misunderstanding something about Pokemon? Like, don't get me wrong. I know that in Gen 7, like, they fixed all of that, right? Like, everything at, in Gen 7 was 3D models, right? Oh, no. My attack rose sharply. Oh, no. I became confused.
Oh no, I hurt myself in my confusion. What the? F <laughs> what was the point? What was the point of using freaking swagger? I'm going to confuse you and boost your attack up so that that way when you're confused you'll do massive damage to yourself which wasn't even that massive I'll note but also before that can even get utilized I'm gonna force you to switch your Pokemon out what what is this why Like, right? Like, really? Like, what? My strategy is to do absolutely nothing to you. And I will win. Ha ha ha. Watch me win by doing absolutely nothing to ya. Arr! Why I be losing? Like, if you can't program an AI that's actually smart enough to handle, like, you know, uh, like combos, then don't give them those kinds of combos. <laughs> give them other things to attack with, you know? There's, like, 900 attack moves in this game. You know? Well, well, not attack moves, but there's like 900 moves in the game. And most Pokemon can learn like a hundred of them. You know? <laughs> like, it's not hard to give them moves that the AI is smart enough to use. And again, why are they Team Aqua and they're not using a single water move? A single water Pokemon. Oh, you went and did it, didn't you? Why, why don't they have water Pokemon? Team Aqua. Water Pokemon. Team Magma. Fire Pokemon. Doesn't seem like too hard of a concept. <laughs> you little scamp. I knew you were the real deal. Brilliant. And my team won't hold back this time. Mega Evolution, how I've missed you. It's been ages since we got to let loose. Huh? Tch! Scamp, gonna have to ask you to hold that thought. I've got to use my timeout. Huh? That you met? You have the worst timing. What? Who? Oh. So Mount Pyre's the real. Got it. Guess that orb's not just some fairy tale after all. All right, I'm on my way. Sorry, Scamp. When you're growing up, you see something. Sometimes things crop up. Gotta put our battle on hold till next time. Take this. Should help you keep busy till we settle the score. Have fun with it, hey? Tame the meteorite. So what was the point of all of this? Let's meet again somewhere. I'll be sure to remember that face. What was the point in all this exactly? They came up here to do what now? <laughs> I've seen you before, child. It seems you're not to be trifled with if you repelled Archie in battle. But what is that fool up to now? He abandoned the meteorite that he sought so persistently. No, 
If it be possible that he has confirmed the existence of the orbs at last. <sighs> Again, I find myself outmaneuvered. What a terrible miscalculation. What was the point of any of this? These are the dumbest evil teams ever. <laughs> At least in any of the games that I've actually, like, played all the way through. I'm counting this because I'm assuming I'm going to get through this. They're the dumbest evil teams. What the heck? Jagged Pass, direction of Lava Ridge Town. So I guess now we can go to Lava Ridge Town? Or something? What is this? I have no idea. It's like a button, but it doesn't button. I have no idea what that is. At all. Whee! And this does not seem like a very good path to get, like, to a town. You found a full heal. Like... This is literally the only way to get there. This does not seem like a very good setup for where your town is. Oh, this is going to hurt. Or not. Huh. I honestly figured that would do a lot of damage, because I did a lot of damage. I'm surprised that that did, like, nothing to me. Knock off. Oh no! I totally had an item for you to knock off! Right. So I have no idea what these button things are. But I seem to be unable to use them. So hopefully I'm going the right way? This place isn't your casual hike. So that's it for a picnic. Like, I, I'm really hoping I'm going the right way. If I have to go back up, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> like, there's no indication of whether I'm doing anything right or not. In fact, there's more indication that I'm doing things wrong. Thanks for that. It woke up! A decent hit! It's paralyzed on the spot! Again, Pokemon Stadium. Anna, I always liked the announcer in the old Pokemon Stadium games. I know that he's, like, super annoying, and don't get me wrong, he really is super annoying, but, like, I like the profess the, the announcer in those old games. Granted, I was, like, what, 10 at the time? Actually, yeah, the youngest I could have been was 10, come to think of it. In fact, I wonder how old I actually was. Because the youngest I could have been was 10. Want to learn Lava Plume? What is that? 
Use the torches, everything around it with an inferno of scarlet flames. Wow. Sure. Uh, I'll take that over Ember. That's probably the best move Torkoal can learn right now. Oh no, the ground is too bumpy. Because my, like, because my Torkoal has, like, special attack boosted. Or higher or whatever. I'm on Route 112. Lava Ridge Town. Okay. I've never been here. Oh, look at the Pokemon Center. Alright, well, next episode we will explore Lava Ridge Town. Um, I planned for there to be more to that, but I can't think of anything. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist that way you can get caught up on any episodes you missed. And with that, I'll see you all next time. See you later.